hija, es que eres joven, espérate un momento. Ay, mi niña, tan bella y tan grande. Ahora nos vamos a casa y te preparo algo muy rico. Ya vas a ver. Mostly. Couldn't you leave some of them behind? No way. We're going to be seeing Pompeii, Dad. There's so much to study up on. The geological composition of the area, the history of devastation. Okay. I got it. Couldn't you have just given her a Kindle? You ever thought about raising my allowance? <laughs> She's your daughter. Oh, you are too smart for your own good, young lady. Awesome. There's a loft. Oh, awesome. More charm. Yeah, more stairs. Wait a minute. How many bedrooms is this? Oh. Oh, no. It's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah. I am so excited about how everything's turning out. Dad, say hi. 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 <laughs> Mom? <laughs> Michaela and I are getting to tag along on your business trip and get a week's vacation in Italy, seeing all the places she's dreamed about. You about to get your dream job? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's working out perfectly. Yeah. Hey, what is it? Uh, nothing. I'm just a little yeah. jet lag. <laughs> oh, come on. I can read you like a book. Spill it. Well, this job, it, uh, it's a big deal for me, for us, you know, it's... It's a great opportunity. You are about to run your own international security company. And you're gonna be great. <laughs> okay, listen. You'll be here for three months. Then you get to come home. 
And we never have to worry about money again. I'm just worried about this presentation. I mean, it, it needs more work. Stop. Just... No. You've been working on it for weeks. This is what you do. This is who you are. It's good. It's really, really good. Yeah? Yeah. They're gonna love you. I'm gonna do without you, huh? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kiddo, you ready? Yeah. You bet. Benvenuto, benvenuto. Ladies and gentlemen, please, form one line. Sorry, I can't go with you guys. Well, we wish you could go too, but somebody's got to bring home the bacon. Come on, Mom. Hey, hold on. Pompey's not going anywhere. We'll see you tonight. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, baby. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. Uh, princess, aren't you forgetting something? Bye, Dad. <laughs> good luck. Yeah. See you tonight. Be good. I will. Sure it is. Excuse me a second. Uh, look, you guys don't have to go. Um, why don't you um, you stay around the hotel, stay close, see Napoli? You still want to go, baby? Yeah. I mean, how many chances am I gonna get to see Pompeii? Right. Okay. Don't worry. I'll keep us safe. <laughs> well, I'm sure you will, baby. All right. All right. Take it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you look after your mother. Yeah, Dad. And before I forget. Uh, you might want to take these just in case. Oh, sat phones? Yeah, sat phones. Good GPS tracking. Yeah, satellite phones with GPS tracking. Really, Jeff? I got clearance on them. Dad, you do this every time. You freak out, get overprotective, and do your whole soldier thing. Smartphones can actually lose battery. Or you could be mm, in an area Dad. where there is Come no on, service. Okay, there okay, are so okay, many okay. things. That... We'll take the phones. At ease, soldier. Come on, Mom. We're going to miss the tour. You. you worry too much. Mm. Easy with that finger. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paul. Look, it's Italy. I was looking forward to a carnetta and cappuccino. We should have overslept this morning. <sighs> hey, glad you could join us. You're just in time to be herded aboard the Cattle Express. <laughs> yeah, come in. Okay, welcome. <laughs> Be nice. I'm sorry. He's grumpy without his morning coffee. Oh, that's okay. Actually, the herding is our favorite part. Moo. God, Mom. I'm Christine. This is Paul. Hi, I'm Lynn, and this is my embarrassed daughter, Michaela. I guess we're all in the same boat today. Or bus, I suppose. Yeah, from a dump to a ruin. <laughs> I think you're gonna love this guy. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come, come inside. Okay. Welcome. Come, come. Welcome to Pompeii. know what caused Pompeii to fall to ruin, yes? Yes, the eruption, the volcano. And there she is, Mount Vesuvius. Yes, of course. Mount Vesuvius exploded and covered the city in ash. But can anyone tell me when the volcano exploded and destroyed our beautiful Pompeii? Yes, miss? 79 AD? Perfetto, miss. Can you tell us more about Vesuvius? Uh, okay. It's probably the most dangerous volcano in the world because three million people live nearby. Although there is some dispute about the name, it's likely a hybridized Greek and Latin word, meaning unquenchable. Perfetto. Feel free to explore. 
Mount Vesuvius has erupted more than 50 times. The eruption in 79 AD was the most famous, of course. The dust poured across the land like a flood, one witness wrote, and shrouded the city in a darkness, like the black of closed and unlight rooms. 2,000 people died, and the city was abandoned for almost as many years. It wasn't until 1748 that a group of explorers rediscovered the site, surprised to find that underneath a thick layer of dust and debris, Pompeii was perfectly intact. Hey, honey, did you feel that? Yes, we felt it. Everything okay? Okay? Some of the ruins even collapsed. I think a few people are hurt. Are you and Michaela okay? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, Michaela and I are fine. I don't want you to worry about that, baby. Look, I'm going to reschedule. I'm going to come get you guys. No, honey. Really. We're fine. We're just shooken up a bit, that's all. I'm sure we're gonna be back on the bus and back in town any minute now, okay? You sure? I'm positive. I do not want you to miss that meeting, baby. You know, Michaela wants to talk to you. We'll see you tonight. How are you guys? Okay. Is there any place to get a coffee, dude? Love you. Hi, Dad. Hey, Princess. You okay? Yeah, fine. But? What is it? This morning at the newsstand, I saw that there had been an eruption in the Galapagos. They said there's been seismic activity everywhere. But then... I, I, I've read so many times that there's always activity near an active volcano. What are you saying? Do you think you and Mom are in danger? I don't know. No, no. Everything's fine. I'm just... I'm being paranoid, Dad. No, 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 Princess. That's all, that's all right. Look, I'll call you when I'm done, OK? Dad, seriously, everything is fine. Don't panic. Really, me and Mom have it under control. Good luck. OK, thanks. You, you and Mom be safe. Bye, Dad. Bye, Princess. And uh, make sure you keep those sap phones. Hello? Hello? Everything OK? Yeah. Please, uh, call me Jeff, sir. Wonderful. Uh, this way. Mr. Ross and the others are waiting. Gianni. Yes. So how do we get out of this place? We'll try the entrance first. If that does not work, we'll try Porta Sarno. Or the gate by the... By the amphitheater. Hey, on the other side of the city. Okay. Here, this way. I must confess, I am amazed at your daughter's knowledge of the city and our fearsome volcano. Yeah, she does her best to keep us amazed, that's for sure. Tell me, how is it that you are so drawn to volcanoes? My dad was away a lot when I was a kid. Marines. Whenever he went away somewhere, I'd read everything I could about the place he was stationed. Everything from local customs to the way the land was formed. Knowing about where he was really did make me feel closer to him. 
And the more I read, the more I realized how much I loved learning about the Earth. While other girls were playing with dolls, I was playing with rocks. <laughs> there is much to study in Italy. Perhaps one day you can come live with us when you're a famous geologist. I would die to live in Italy. That's another small one, right? Perhaps we should. Go, quickly! can implement it and uh, have it up and running in three months. Seems like a plan. Okay. Do you have a helicopter? Excuse me? Does this company have a helicopter? Mr. Pierce. I need to use it. Mr. Russell, my family is in Pompeii. I'm sorry, but I cannot. Not for this. If you try to buy Vesuvius, you will die. I promise you. Jeff, please, you have to listen to Mr. Russell. You cannot go to Pompeii. I know, you gotta you got find shelter somewhere sturdy with cover. Find it, I'll be there soon. Are you guys all Is right? Is everything okay? I don't think you should. No, stay there, I'm coming for you. I love you, Jeff, but really. Lynn. Jeff. Lynn! Jeff. Damn it. Stay away, Jeff. Sir. Return to the machine, signore. No, I have to get through here. Get back. No one comes through. Uh, my wife and daughter are in Pompeii. I have to get through. Pompeii? Pompeii is gone zero. No one's going there. Get back in your car. No, you don't understand. I have to get there. Back in car now. Easy, buddy. Back in car or I arrest you. Go! Play Nintendo.
yeah. I'll be right there. Damn it, come on. Okay, yeah. God, no one's called me that in a few years. My dear friend, it's good to see you. You too. Despite the circumstances. Well, tell me something. As soon as I got your call, I sent a request to the top of the Italian government. It's no go, I'm afraid. This is, uh, Pompeii is strictly off limits. The whole area is off limits. We are on standby to evacuate Naples. No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. This is my wife and daughter we're talking about here. You think I don't understand that? You think I don't remember that debt I owe you from Kandahar? I tell you, this is a major international crisis. I would help you if there was any way. There is a way. There's always a way. You know that. You're special ops. I was special ops in the days when I was Carlo. Now I'm Colonel Dillard. NATO liaison. I'm a pen you're, pusher. You're the same guy. Yeah, come on, Carlo. Come on, man. There's also something else that you don't know. How bad? I've just spoken to the head of science at Sapienza di Roma. Pompeii will be under 60 foot of lava within four hours. Sorry. Come on, get in. Where am I going? Where are you going? There's nothing we can do. You can't stop the bloody volcano, man! Mom. It'll be fine. These guys are going to give you the same answer as the Italian government. Still got to try. Right. 
But if you get the answer that I think they're going to give you, I'll wait outside for you and meet you here in an hour. Okay. Where are you planning? Plan B, just in case your plan A doesn't pan out. I'm not the only person in Italy who owes you a favor. Good luck, old boy. Thanks. Right. Next time I say, let's go get coffee, let's go get coffee. Baby. Here, let me help you. Thank you. You just saved my life out there. We were just in the neighborhood. Thanks. Davine, and that's Rashida. Um, Lynn. Kayla. Day, huh? Tell me about it. Ring the Veen said that he felt something important was going to happen to us today. Me and my big mouth, huh? Hey, there you go. Thanks, man. No problem. Next time I won't visit a natural disaster. Three even is it next time. Paul! I can't be the only one thinking that. Well, it was really lucky that you found this place, okay? It's exactly what Dad said to find. You did really good. You did really good, baby. In theory, we should be okay here. It withstood the last eruption after all. Unless it's worse this time. Worse? Can it really get any worse? Mr. Pierce, please, believe me, we'd like nothing better than to assist you in locating your wife and your daughter. All I'm asking for is transport, sir. Believe me. I don't doubt your ability, but as I said, it's not that easy. It is that easy. It is not that easy. You heard what your friend CO said. Word from the Italian government is that everybody's coming out. Nobody goes in. Certainly no civilians. God only knows what they feel about some black ops commando. Exactly. I'm black ops. I can make this a covert Mr. operation. Pierce, please believe me. We're trying to keep you safe. This is my wife and daughter. We're talking about Pierce. Here. I get it. But once talking I get about there, a volcanic eruption. Them. I've done They're it all before, over many world. times. That's my pot. job. Look, I want to help you. Really, I do. Neither you nor I can stop a volcano. We are now receiving reports from Nihau, Hawaii, where a ring of volcanoes have risen from the ocean floor, endangering air traffic and local population. A little over three hours, Pompeii the will be gone. Right now, the only thing that I can do is to try and keep you safe. That's it. I'm sorry. That's what we're dealing with. So you're not going to help me? No, Mr. Pierce, I can't. We're heading out of Naples within the hour. If you're smart, you'll be coming with us. If not, God help you, man. You guys have everything in those packs. Our whole lives are in there. We've been backpacking through Europe for the past three months. Being is hard to dissuade when he gets an idea in his head. Like you were putting up a fight. Are you two married? Uh, not quite yet, no. Huh. Are you getting a signal with that? then you might want to conserve your battery for when we get signal at some point. Really? What's your deal, dude? Yeah, sorry. I work for a travel blog back home. Just fly around the world, take photos of tourist traps. It's my first trip to Italy. It's exciting. Hey. Did you hear that? What? I don't hear anything. I think it stopped. 
I don't think so. Well? Looks like I'm on my own. Oh, no, you're not. You were fast. Good guys are friends. We are not much. What? You're all this paper push you could dig up. Yeah, best I could do at short notice. Good to see you, soldier. Captain Pierce. Oh, look where the cat dragged in. Always looking for work. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this on my own. Kane? We'll never leave you hanging, boss. The old band's officially back together for one night only. We hear you got a problem. The size of a mountain. Your family? They're at ground zero. We're getting them out. Come on, let's go. Thank you enough. Please, I could do a word. I still love you. Thanks. Oh, uh, there is one thing. Anything, anything at all. You couldn't give me a, a chopper, military grade. Are you out of your mind? I'm NATO liaison. This isn't even my country. Oh. You'll get me court martialed. All right, all right. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'll figure it out. Yes, I'm sure you will. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks again. Good luck. Then I when you come home. You come home. We got gear. Locked and loaded. Whole kit, but lacking the caboodle. We're gonna need some kind of a conveyance. Yeah, we're gonna get a chopper. We need something large enough to hold cargo for transport and extraction. Plus, we need to land on a dime. Which basically means we need something fast and agile enough to get us out of trouble. It's gonna be a war zone out there. I call some favors with the British Army. No, we don't have time. Oh, Dan, come on. Back it up, back it up. So we need to secure a chopper here in Naples and fast. Yep. I'm guessing civilian options out of the question, then. Any ideas? Yeah. <laughs> I know that look. What are you planning? Something Carla's not gonna like. been reading books about volcanoes for as long as I can remember. Can you think of someplace else? Someplace that's safer? Crap. Wait, Christine, do you still have that map of Pompeii? Yes. Yes, I do. Right. So... We are here. We need to get to here. We should get ready to move, like, now. We need to get there before what happens next. Why? What happens next? You don't want to know. Tell us. Heat surge. How much heat are we talking? Enough. Place that has the ride we need. JFC Naples. Yeah. Isn't that a NATO base? Yeah, it's an Italian post. It's the hard way. As usual. It's the way I like it. Oh, come on. Take a ride here. Come on. How much time do we have? According to Carlo, only a couple of hours. Hold on, hold on. Let's have a look. Let's help him with that car. Come on. Cat, stop. You hear that? Looks like we should have actually stayed home. 
need to move. Incoming! Stopped. That's good, right? Well, it's good if you don't want to be hit by flaming rocks, but... It's not good if you don't like the heat. We need to keep moving. How much further? Not far. like a death trap to me. We can see the entrance from here. Why can't we just keep going? We don't have time. When the heat surge hits, there's no way we can outrun it. What? You're just supposed to believe him? You would do well to listen to her. All right, listen to the girl who almost got us killed inside a collapsing ruin. There's nothing falling from the sky. This is our chance to get out of here. Please, come with us. I think it's rather Matthias my father. I Wait, guys, seriously. Please, no. come on. I mean, they're kind of right. It's really small in here. Good? Yeah. Better than I expected. We need to shut this door. We'll help to block the heat wave when it hits. Okay, Michaela, are you sure that this is all right? In 1902, a volcano erupted in Martinique. There was only one survivor, a man in a jail cell. Everybody unpack. Or take off the clothes you don't need. I need your water, too. Sure. Wait, what are you doing with the water? I mean, we may need this. I need to soak the clothes to plug the cracks in the door. That's what the survivor of Martinique did to stay alive. Except he had to use his own urine. Hmm. Thanks. What do you think, Cap? They're not gonna catch them with their pants down. But there are gaps. What do you think, distraction or evasion? A little of both. So give us the rundown. The target's one o'clock. Those choppers are exactly what we need. They're gunships, not rescue vehicles. They won't be used for any civilian rescue operation. We're not having any rescue effort. Right. No, we're just adding a little firepower. Once we're back in the air over Pompeii, it'll be just like back in the sandbox, only a little worse. Exactly. That's why we need to be on the offensive. How do we get in? We find a hole in the perimeter. Then we stealth in. But we'll need a distraction on the outside. I'll cover that part. Save me from asking. You know me. I just like blowing things up. Game on. When do we move? How about now? Time's a ticking. And, uh, minimal force. Keep your heads down. This is 
it? I'm sorry, Rashid. It's not your fault. Look, if we make it out of this, I promise. It's over now, right? We can rest up here for a few minutes. That's the worst of it, right? Come on! <laughs> this is far from over. I feel naked doing this in broad daylight. You losing your nerve, Hurricane? Hell no. <laughs> Sorry, Carlo. Do it.
So, tell us, resident volcano expert, how are we gonna die next? Our main concern is the sulfuric gas, for the time being at least. Deadly in high doses, we'd have to be near a lot of ash for it to pose an immediate threat. How much ash? A lot of ash, like 10 feet or more. We have to go now. Hey. What is it? I can tell there's something else. Nothing. Nothing anyone needs to worry about. Michaela, if there's more danger, I think we all probably need to know about it, okay? It's just, if Vesuvius is going to erupt again, it's going to get worse with every eruption. How much worse? Ever heard of Krakatoa? taking Kabul from the Taliban. Go him or he's gonna bleed out. You all right, Kane? Oh, thanks, Kane. Just don't pass out till we get there. Actually, don't pass out till we get back. <laughs> That's why you call me a hurricane. That's come unstoppable, baby. No, no, you call it hurricane because you're full of hot air. All right, guys, come on, let's focus. Kane, I need you up here. Come on. Come on. Oh. Alita, are you on comms? Copy that. You good? Five by five, go ahead and hand her over to me, Cap. Yours. I've got it. What's our ETA? We should be there in 35 minutes. Keep her floored. Done. I'll be damned. Well, all right. Come on, everybody. You having any luck? You never know. Mom, the sat phones. Yeah. Oh, well, I think I lost mine back at the villa. That's okay. I still got my. Must have come out when I fell. Oh. Well, we're quite a pair, aren't we? What do you think? Uh, seems so. I think we should go in. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. Are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Come on.
That slide brought in a lot of ash. That means there's gonna be a... What? The guys you were talking about earlier? And there's a lot of dirt in there too, right? Maybe there's not enough ash to make it a problem. Like, like, like you were saying. Maybe. I'm no expert. I could get us all killed. No. Dude, we'd be dead already if it wasn't for you. None of us knows jack about volcanoes. We're following you. It's gonna be okay. So, what's our next move, boss? I'm not sure. I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe they've jettisoned ballast, or maybe they're just more outfitted for attack than they are for transpo. Or maybe we stole the slowest goddamn helicopter in the Italian army. Okay, secure that door. Come on. Just want to take a few shots. Get them fall back. A lot can happen with a grenade launch. I'm not killing innocent soldiers. 223 Hotel. Please be advised, we have instructions to return you to base at Norwich. Please be advised that we are under orders to shoot if you will not comply. Do you understand? We will shoot you out of the sky unless you turn round now. Jeff, please don't do this. Return to base with us immediately. I'm sorry, Carl, I have to... Sir, we're uh, almost within firing distance, sir. Fire a couple of warning shots. Fire now. Okay, how far are we? I can get us to that cloud in three minutes, but they're going to be within firing range in one. I think they're in firing range now. Yeah. When I said boring jets, I didn't mean hit him. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Right. It will not happen again, sir. It will not happen again, sir. Otherwise, they could be caught marshal. Should I pursue, though, sir? Pursue, pursue. You are instructed to pursue. You use every trick you got, but you get us into that cloud. Got it? You guys might want to buckle up for this part. Two left. Almost within firing range, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Think about this. If you fire now, any shots that you miss could hit the civilian population trying to leave a volcanic eruption down below. My advice would be close up. Yes, sir. I got this. Crap. No, 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 no. When I say pull up, I don't mean fly up his ass. Did you yes, see that? Did you see that? Yes, sir. To the ground. There is a commuter aircraft. 
That is a civilian in the air. Whatever you do, abort, abort, abort. I'm aborting, sir. Boarding mission now, 106 returning. All right. Take us there. your ankle. It'll be all right. Reminds me of the night raids on Baghdad during the Gulf War. Boy, this is much worse. That's weird. Just reminds me of hell. We should be over Pompeii in 15. Uh, so when we get there, how the hell are we gonna find them? They are not likely to be out in the open. And the ruins. There's a lot of ground to cover in the little time we have. Yeah, but before Michaela and Lynn left, I made them take sat phones with them. So we can just call. No good. Been trying since we left Naples. All the phones have GPS tracking. They're tethered to one another. Provided they're all functional. Bingo. One of them's still up. The coordinates. to Pompeii, look for a freestanding four-story building. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Roger that. We've got 45 minutes left for extraction. Don't worry, Cap. Fine. Where's Christine?
Come on. Where's Christine? Follow me. Keep the baking soda over your mouth and breathe through that, okay? It should absorb the gas which is in the air. In theory. <coughs> What the hell was that? Mom, it's your phone. This is yours? I thought it was one of those electronic tour guide things or something. I think that's been trying to track us. Come on, we need to get to higher ground. Do you still have contact? Negative. The connection is gone. Damn. Doesn't change anything. We still start at the museum. Same plan. Eye on the prize. Time, come on. Come on. This thing is solid. At least it's keeping the gas out. Firecracker. Okay, well, we've got to do something. Gav was definitely searching for us on the sap phone before it got smashed. It had to be him. He knows where we are. Do you think the signal went through? It's possible. If there's a way, Jeff would find it. You know, the way you guys keep talking about this dude <laughs> makes him sound like some kind of superhero or something. Yeah, well, he kind of is. Hey, I'm the first to get in line to be rescued by Super Dad. He'll be here. I know it. It's too dangerous. She's right. If there's even the slightest chance in hell that he can get to us, he will. It's what he did for a living, for God's sake. How we doing, Kane? Touchdown, 90 seconds, boss. All right. Let's do this. Look, even if he is coming, the bad news is we can't stay here much longer. That second eruption a few minutes ago, that means there's a chance of a pyroclastic flow. A what? When a volcano erupts, it can heat rock so hot that it turns to gas. That creates a flow which can wash over the ground kind of like, like a tidal wave. It's probably dangerous, right? According to the books, 
can travel at 450 miles per hour and reach temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius, so kind of. Still no contact? No. All right, we got to assume they're still at the museum. We've got less than 30 minutes to get in there, find them, and get the hell out. I want it done in 10. Copy? Yeah. Copy. All right. Visibility is kind of less than zero, so I need the flashlights. Yo, we got to hit the ground running. Kane, do you have enough room to land on the roof? Structure seems sound enough, but I'm not risking a touchdown. I'm going to get it right above and keep the engine running for you. All right, copy. Let's go. Ten minutes. We search every engine, then we're gone. Copy? Copy. Copy. All right, let's go. Stay calm. We'll have you out in there in a couple of minutes. Okay. Alina, Cave! On my 20, everyone! I found them! Let's go. We gotta go. We can't sit here any longer, man. This is, we gotta go, man. We gotta go. All right. So behind this wall. Roof caved in. We need to make a hole. Tell me we have something for that. Always come prepared, right, Cat? Right, 25 seconds. Could be dead, for all I know. We got to get out of here. All right, I need you all to move as far away from the door as possible. Take cover. We got it, Dad. Good, look, we're gonna try and make an exit for you. You need to move away from the door, move fast, and as far away as you can. You've got 25 seconds.
straight. Are we straight? Good, good. All right, come on. Good. What now? There's always another way. Let's find it. Looks like you need another ride, huh? She ain't kidding, bro. They're coming! <laughs> Chill out down here. Is this place even safe? I hope so. Good thing about being a two, hopefully nothing will get in. Soldier, he knew the risks. Give me that, you jerk. Easy, all right? Easy. All right. <sighs> Come on, let's take a look at that leg. So, volcano experts, what do we do now? Any way out of here? Just the way we came in. So how long before this thing is over? Sorry. I don't know. Days, maybe. Days? Can't wait days. We'll suffocate in here. There must be a way to get a word out, to get someone to help us. We'll find a way out of here. Give me a hand. 
sorry. For what? For making you come here. You got nothing to be sorry about, okay? Yeah. I'm proud of you. For us, you maniac. <laughs> Only reason I'm here is that 25 years ago I was stuck in a desert and extracted by another maniac, and I didn't even know him. Well, the debt's over now. It's paid. <laughs> paid? <laughs> you owe me, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. I didn't see all your team. Lost the leader in Cade. Sorry. Let's get the rest of them home. All right. Not gonna be easy. Like flying through soup. God damn it! Uh, these air filters keep clogging. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Is come that on. it? Yes. <laughs> Once we're there. Come on. Why are you playing that? Why are you playing? I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't control this thing. <sighs> Civilian. Oh, oh. This bit of rock's gone right through my shoulder. Okay, front and center. Bring Colonel Dillard some first aid. Right away, sir. And break up the morphine. Oh. This is Kandahar all over again. You're whining like a chicken. Oh. 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 Try and fly the plane a little bit so that everyone's steady. Oh, I seem to remember I flew it very well in Canada. Oh, right. Thank you. Fuck me all over. And you were still, you were still complaining, oh. weren't you? Oh. 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 Easy. God it, damn put it on. It. Give me some more pain before you stop me, Florence Bloody Nightingale. Oh. Oh. I don't want to live in Italy anymore.
Reports are coming in. The eruptions from Mount Vesuvius are dying down, and the series of earthquakes are dissipating. While badly damaged from this disaster, Pompeii is still standing.